the Premier League, the holy grail of English football, the grand stage where dreams can be made and also shattered. In the opening season of the Premier League, there were 22 teams that started this brand new era of English football, and Blackburn Rovers were one of them. Now, fast forward 25 years and we've just been promoted from the third tier of English football. After years of turmoil, Rovers have finally turned a massive corner as they try to get themselves back to the promised land. But wait! Venkis, the Barmy owners who have caused chaos since their arrival, have yet made another bonkers move by replacing crowd favourite Tony Mowbray with this haphazard clown as manager. Can this rookie steer Rovers to the great beyond? Or will his lack of knowledge and experience track Rovers to football obscurity once again? Now with this clown in charge, there'll be tears, laughter, and of course, plenty of drama. Join me as we try to make Blackburn Rovers great again. Well, folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Match 2019 series called Make Rovers Great Again. And I am back live on camera. If I can just get myself over there. There we go. Um, yeah, and uh, play a few games. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better. Hence, the camera is back. A bit of a chance to get myself set up. But since you've been gone, uh, play three games. Not been the greatest return to action um, in those three games. Only winning the one of them. But anyway, let's talk, let's talk about them. First and foremost, we took on Cardiff in the Premier League and we drew 2-2. Actually found ourselves 2-0 down before half-time. Uh, Lindsay opened up the scoring for Cardiff. Uh, the second goal was by Kenneth Zahori. Always seems to score against us. Uh, puts down the top bins. Right, I had no chance. In the second half, though, we we scrambled. We changed formation. Adam and Dyer getting on the score sheet uh, after he started that game, I believe. And then Gareth Bale, last-minute.com free kick to give us a share of the points. Then we switched gears to the Europa action and we took on Sporting at their gaff. We won 2-0. In a match that we played pretty well, Bale involved once again with the first, which actually scored this first one. Top bins for him. Uh, the second goal was uh, Harrison Reed, who was also recalled to the lineup, long range effort as he does. Actually, ended the game with nine men with uh, Bale injured. Dak got himself sent off. We couldn't replace Bale. Obviously, we use our subs at all of this, you know, so we had no one to, to replace him with. And then back in the Premier League at uh, Goodison, we drew 2 2 with uh, Everton. In a topsy turvy game, we took the lead through a returning Zavanovic. Baggio to Zivanovic there to open up the scoring. Uh, Everton got themselves back uh, in the game uh, to make it 1-1. Uh, Jonathan to Shrujevic. Great, great counter-attacking goal. Uh, we got ourselves back into it before half-time. Um, Zivanovic evolved again to Lewis Gunn to make it 2-1. But right at the death, Rick Carlson uh, gave Everton a share of the points as well in a game that sh which was okay. It, was, it wasn't explosive. So, yeah, ultimately, I think a fair result. Now in this one, uh, we're going to take on Sporting. Then we're going to take on Chelsea back in the Prem. So here we are, folks. We do have that two-goal lead up against Sporting. So ideally, we should hold out for uh, 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 something on this one. At least try and remain unbeaten against Sporting and get ourselves through to the next round. That's the, that's the plan. But will that, will that happen? We'll have to wait and see. So we're going to start with a 4-4-1-1 on this one. Uh, Dak is out. Uh, we've got other, a couple, quite a few other players also out um, through injury and whatnot. So we're going to opt with this one. Uh, Ryan Gold, Patucha, Lanahan, Nelson, Bogle, Shinchenko, Reed, Maitland, Niles, Garcia. Diop gets a start in that attacking midfield slot because uh, Bradley Dak is out. And Savanovic up top. Uh, yeah, got to keep an eye on these two. I don't think their fitness is ideal. I don't think they'll last the full 90. So... Uh, Lewis Gunn, Adam Adaya could come off the bench. Okay, quick look at the Portuguese Sporting Lisbon lineup. Um, Horta, that name rings a bell. Did we play up against him before? Uh, LAFC, no. Maybe I was looking at him. I, mean, I was trying to buy him. But anyway, let's let's take it to him. Okay, here we go, boys and girls. Zervanovic. Can he continue uh, to score goals? Because he can... returned from injury in the last game against... Uh, against Everton, um, so, you know, with Wildermere's out for six six or so weeks, so Zivanovic will be competing with Adaya and Gunn for starting spots, and both Gunn and Adaya both are on double digits already for goals, so Zivanovic will try and play catch-up a little bit, but here comes Sporting, Brass over to Akuna, and slipped in, and who's that? Dimitra Matruskovsky has given Sporting a bit of a chance here with 30 minutes gone on the clock. Well, that kind of uh, popped itself out of nowhere. Show some passion, lads. Show some passion. 20 minutes gone. Bogle. 
Dupas hacked down. Garcia handlers, man handles all over the place. Reed, loose ball. Here comes Spawn once again, but no, Lanahan picks it up. Out to Patucha to Reed from distance. No fake. Sinchenko crosses, and there is Garcia to get us back in control of the game. Obviously, we have the two goal uh, uh, away goals, which could come into play at the minute. 3 1 on aggregate, still. Not too bad, boys, not too bad. Keep focused. Long range effort, free kick over the top. Did Ryan get a finger to it? It does not look like he did. That'll be a goal kick into the final two or three minutes. Can we hang tight? So far, so good. 1 1 on the night. Second half gets underway. Sporting kicking us off. Also, some news of uh, potential takeover. Still lingers around Ewood Park. I think there's one. one uh, hang on a second. Ooh, corner straight into the arms of the keeper, Maximino. Looking for an option. Boots it. Hustled there by Lenahan. Great play. Gives it forward to Reed. To Diop from distance. Shinchenko. No, it's Savanovic, but he's offside. Will not count. But yeah, takeover talks are looming. I think this, the same party is that's rumoured. Tried earlier in the season, but it's collapsed. But now it's back on again. So we'll see how that pans out. Because we, we are making money now. And we've got a bank balance of 100 million. But we still have debt. So that hopes to get wiped out. But anyway, here comes Sporting once again. Silva, Berkovic, back to Silva, Berkovic now. Forced facing some pressure from a Rovers player. All the way back to the keeper, Maximino. Back to Berkovic, Wendell, Acuna. Back to Wendell, slow build up here by Sporting. Over the top, that's good, it's decent. And that was a wild, wild shot and it goes wild, wild, but it goes a corner. Kuna fires it in. Raya comes out and grabs it. And hopefully that should calm the situation down a bit. If you look at the, the, the stats, we are dominating possession. We are dominating shots, dominating on target. Um, so realistic. Garcia with a free kick. Top bins. 3-1 on the night. Is it 3-1 on the night? 2-1 on the night, sorry. 4-1 on aggregate. That should be job done. And Sport aren't no, no pushover. So I think we, you know... We were in the Europa final. Was it last season or the season before? Season before, I think. Could have been last season. I can't remember. Um, but I think we didn't deserve to be in the final. I think we're, so far we're doing okay. We, we're looking decent. And I think we, we, we could be one of the favourites. Or one of the fancy teams. One of the dark horses. That, that's more of a, the phrase I'm after. Dark horses. But here comes Sporting from trying to make a little bit more fruity. Loose ball now. Diop, what can he do? He's got a couple of runners with him. One on the left-hand side. If we can pick him out, he does. And what a strike by Shinchenko. It's actually bundled out for a corner. Uh, we've got seven minutes to go. I'm going to stop things right there. And we're going to bring on Kone for Diop. And Adam Adaya for Zivanovic. Ryan Niembe right as well for a cameo. Just, just, just to give him some action. Five minutes to go. Looking good, boys. Looking comfortable. 2-1 here. 2-1 there. Or 2-0 there, sorry. Into injury time. Just about. Two minutes of it. File in there. Last minute scrambles. And Rovers. Seconds away now from booking their spot. And Adam Adair breaks through. We're going to wrap it up. No, he cannot get his foot around the rebound. And that should be enough. There it is. Final whistle. 2 1 on the day. 4 1 on aggregate. Rovers into the next round, boys. So there we are. We are through alongside Arsenal, alongside AZ Alkmaar, Napoli, Olympic Marseille, Olympic Lyon, Bayer Leverkusen, and Fiorentina. So not really any weakened sides there. I'd say AZ and Alkmaar would be the fancied one for us, but you've got to beat them all if you're going to go anywhere. Okay, here we are for the quarterfinals of the Europa Cup. Let's see what we got. Fiorentina straight out of the hat. Take on AZ Altmar. Olympically on, we'll take on Bayern, Leverkusen. So Arsenal, Napoli, Olympic, Marseille, who we lost to in that final. And it's Arsenal. It's an English quarterfinal. Rovers against Arsenal. Probably the team I didn't really want to play on because uh, our record against them isn't fantastic. But it's what it is, folks. It is what it is. Next up for Rovers, it is the Premier League tie up against Chelsea at Ewood Park. Now, over the years, the two sides have met 12 times. We've won four, lost four, and drawn four. So this one crucial to the whole grand scheme of our uh, uh, sort of history against Chelsea, should I say. Um, Chelsea currently find themselves in third on the table. We are seventh. Six points uh, adrift of Manchester United. But we have three games in hand on them. 
also got six points clear of Swansea in eighth. So realistically, we need to start getting some wins under our belt to try and close the gap. Because really, we've got to make that push now from, from seventh and eighth, which is where we've been the past few seasons, to try and get into the sixth, fifths, and possibly even fourth. So um, this is a good test of our metal, see how, what kind of calibre we got this season. Okay, folks, here we go. With my starting 11 for this match, we have Ryan Gold, Bogle, Nelson, Lennon, Wingedale, Maitland Niles, Reed, Garcia, Shinchenko, Dak, and Lewis Gunn up top against Chelsky for a. God, we just need to get some points. We need a big win. Hopefully, this is it. Okay, quick look at the starting lineups for Chelsea. Paulinho and Eduard lead the, the top two with Lucas Paqueta in that sort of Bradley Dak sort of role. Cook, Jorginho, Kante. Uh, Chihuahua did that. It's got quite a tasty looking side, if I'm honest with you. Up against our boys, that you would, what we got. Okay, let's let's take it to them. Um, yeah. Am I confident? I don't know. We've not been we've not been playing that well in the Prem recently, so uh, this is a this is a good chance for us to see what we got. Playing the, the sort of reserved formation just for the first first half, and then we'll we'll see see where we are. If we're in the game, then we'll kind of maybe go a bit more adventurous. But 12 minutes gone, nil nil. Here's a chance now. Dak with a free kick fires it in, comes out to Nelson. It's running away from the action though, fires it back into Shinchenko now. What can he do? Winged out at a place or loose ball. Here come Chelsea. This is deadly as we don't have our left back in his right spot. Where is he? Oh no, Edward and flipping and Gallo Kante of all people, third goal of the season from a from a Rovers corner to a flipping Chelsea goal. And I would say Winchdown was partially involved in that uh, bad bit of play, but we, we have to we have to dig deep now. Um, get creative, boys, get creative. Another opportunity for Chelsea, fired in there, it's bundled in. We don't look like it. I think pre in the earlier start of the season, we looked pretty decent up against some of these big boys. But I don't know, I think our heads have dropped. 2-0, Edouard has made it uh, Seems to be quite comfortable. I think we're going to get spanked here, boys, today. Not sure why. We just need a reset. I don't know. Look at this. Look at this. Shim, shim shambles. It's now 3-0. We're just not in it. We are just not in it, boys. What the heck's going on? So I'm going to have to come out in the second half and try and give it give it to them. At least make it look like we want to, want to stick it to them. Because I know Chelsea is second and we shouldn't really underestimate them, but... We've been we've been an all right side. Just getting shown up by these big boys. Maybe we're not ready. Maybe we're not ready to, to make the push. Into those top four. Last couple of minutes. There is the uh, halftime whistle. Three 0 down. It's a shambles. We're going to be a bit more ballsy. No no change in personnel. Just a bit more aggressive. Rovers, Wingedale now, back to Reed. Wingedale crosses, loose ball, Maitland-Niles. Oh, he's, he's picked apart, Fakir. Here comes, they've got two men there. Really, it should have been 4-0. Should be 4-0. Let's, uh, let's, let's go for um, something like that. Where are, what's my options? Kure. Zivanovic, Lewis Gunn, Amadaya. Going for a 4-2-4, four, 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 something like that. Triple sub. Might as well, eh? Might as well, boys. 3-0 down. Nelson, back to Raya, fires it, headed onwards. Adaya now, on here, what can he do? Harrison Reed. Best effort all night. Best effort all night. If we can get one goal back, then we might we might have a bit of a surge, but ultimately they just look too good. Another one. Another one. If you look at the, the stats though. It doesn't look that bad. They just had a better shots on target ratio. Two hours. Corner. Reed fires it in the box. Headed partially clear. We'll get another go. To Kure. Turn and shoot. There we go. What a bit more of that, boys. A bit more of that. 
Kure getting on the assist tallies. Come on, come on. If we can get another, if we can get another, we might just do something, but really, it's not happening, is it? It's not happening. Five minutes to go. Go very attacking. Show some passion. Nah, too little, too late. A dire, there it is. Chelsea, obviously, their their position of table really smashed us, really. That, that's all I could say. So, folks, after that one, we remain in seventh. The gap has not changed whatsoever. Um, Swansea, uh, six points clear. Game, we've played one more game than them, so hopefully we can extend that a little bit. Maybe it's still possible that if we win both our games in hand, we can close the gap in on United to goal difference. But anyway, in the next episode, we are going to fly forward uh, just a little bit. Um, we'll come back for the Arsenal Man City one to crunch... Oh man, do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Yeah, we'll come back for that Arsenal Man City one. It's only it's only a day away. Anyway, until then, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you're new, smash the subscribe. I'll be right back here tomorrow, same time, same place, for some more Football Manager 19 action. Hey, what was going again? Let's do it. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related. Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>